G'day viewers, in case you didn't know, today marks the UN's International Day for the Elimination of Racism. In Australia, today is known as Harmony Day. So, how did the federal government mark this day that, you know, is all about living in harmony and getting rid of racism? Well, they put forward their proposal to remove protections from the Racial Discrimination Act, which would make it harder to prosecute someone for racial vilification. I shit you not, this is not an ironic joke. They chose the International Day of Getting Rid of Racism to make life easier for racists. Now, the two words they want to uh, get taken out of what's known as Section 18C of the Act is saying that it's an offence to insult and offend someone based on their race, ethnic ethnicity, religion, etc. Now, you might think someone like me, who spends a vast majority of their time insulting and offending people on purpose, would be all for that. And on some level, you'll, you can argue, you're like, yeah, that's bad wording. But all the people who say, you've got to change 18C, conveniently ignore 18D, which puts in protections for various fair statements, as in statements of truth, and, you know, reasonable public discourse. You see, nobody has been convicted under 18C who didn't fucking deserve it. My personal favourite, Andrew Bolt, the racist piece of shit who works for various conservative media outlets, when he got done, people go, well, that was free speech. No, he got done because he was lying. He acted in bad faith while he was using race to abuse people. So if he'd been telling the truth, he would have been protected. But he was lying. Nobody who says, oh, it's, it's chilling free speech, can actually point to a piece of free speech that's been chilled. Certainly hasn't toned down racism in this country. And people, oh, this is the bit that particularly disgusts me. The government and the conservative supporters are going, this is all about Bill Leake. If you don't know who Bill Leake was, he was an editorial cartoonist for the Murdoch rag, The Australian, and he published a whole series of filthy, disgusting, vile, racist, and homophobic cartoons. He was a fucking scumfuck. And the idea that he's dead meat, don't say anything bad, free speech, you fucking cock monkeys! You're saying like, oh, if he can't do horrible, racist, and homophobic things, what about free speech? How in fuck is pointing out what a piece of garbage he was, not free speech. What the fuck is wrong with you fucking pieces of shit? Oh my god. And they were like, oh, this is to protect the next Bill Leak. Well, I fucking hope there isn't a next Bill Leak. I hope there's not an endless supply of racist cartoonists. I'm pretty sure there is, but I live in hope that there isn't. And the thing is, what did it stop? Bill Leak from doing. Didn't stop him from publishing racist and homophobic bullshit, but they're saying, oh, it killed him. No, it fucking didn't, because he didn't care about the fact that everyone was being... See, here's the thing. If you're so upset that people are calling you a racist, maybe stop being a fucking racist. That's just a potential solution I'm throwing out there. If it's ruining your life, if it's driving you to your grave, Maybe stop being such a piece of fucking shit! Free speech, you fucking turd-eating shit rags! God, drive me so crazy! And, oh, the spineless, despicable Malcolm Turnbull, who categorically said multiple times he wouldn't do this, did it because he's really hoping that the ultra-right of his party will like him one day, and he appears completely incapable of understanding. No, they won't. They never will. It's, it would be one thing you've said, you know what? We're just doing it because we're doing it. But he's just said the most ridiculous things like, he's going, well, my party's against racism. No, your party is fucking riddled with disgusting, vile racists. But then he said, nobody in Australia is racist. Okay, you could have gone for some stupid fucking platitude like, I don't believe Australians are inherently racist. I don't believe racism is dominant in Australia. But yet he actually said, there are no racists in Australia. What sort of fuckwit says something that stupid? A fuckwit who spouts anything he wants. He stopped believing his own rubbish ages ago. 
is just say anything for any reason, and probably also because this won't pass the Senate anyway. It's just an empty gesture. It's going, see, you horrible racist shitbags, I do pander to you. Won't you love me, you racist garbage pieces of shit? And here's the thing, if you still can't wrap your head around, why would I be worried about something as simple as getting rid of the words insult and offend? I'll give you three simple points. It has not stifled free speech, and it certainly hasn't dulled racism. Second, so who does a benefit? And third, who stands to be hurt by it? If you can't answer those questions honestly without going, oh wait, this shit's all about racism, then fuck you, you racist scum, and I've got no fucking time for you.